EA Sports. It's in the game. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for a much-anticipated main event. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Here's that first year. to go the full 10 if we get that far round one underway he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Hayes good way to protect the midsection Hayes is able to land a good solid left hand Hayes's movement helped out there he avoided that punch Through the history of the sport, this is one of the matchups that has produced some of the more interesting fights, especially in the lower weight classes. Speed versus speed. Who's going to be the guy that uses speed better? Who's going to be able to time shots and control range? That's what I'm looking at. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Raymond Bishop. Halfway through this round. A well-placed left hand up top. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Sword well upstairs with the right hand. Raymond Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Scores well to the head with the right hand. We count down the final moments of this round. And we come to the end of round number one. Raymond Bishop's proving that he's here to fight. Just look at the punch steps. Mark there going upstairs. Raymond Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Blocks that belt line well. Look at that combination by Hayes. with a left hand. Right to the belt line. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Halfway through round number two. Goes up top with a right hand. Hayes is left now getting into the mix. That 
is a sharp uppercut by Raymond Bishop. Very nice defensive guard there. Oh, good looking two punch combination by Raymond Bishop. Not able to connect with the uppercut. How about that exchange? Good flush shot upstairs. Raymond Bishop's corner's gotta be happy about that last round. And round number three is underway. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Able to get rid of that one. Big uppercut right on the mark. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Raymond Bishop's had success so far, just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But there is some concern. Yeah, you know, you got a guy with a real fast car. He needs a racetrack. He needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit. Right now, his opponent needs to change that landscape. Don't give him that racetrack. Step out of range a little bit and leave him there. Let him shadow box. But don't stay in a position where he can be effective. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. There's another right hand. Nothing there on the punch by Hayes. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Three rounds in the books. Raymond Bishop's in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecard. Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making the guy come to him. He's making a miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, he's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot, you know, you hear about that in... In baseball, you want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot where the jab, he's catching his opponent just as he's starting to get into his range before he can get off. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Solid left hand to the head. Halfway through round number four. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Raymond Bishop. 
Bishop scoring with that right hand. Scores up top with a left. And a good counter by Raymond Bishop. Hayes' inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Raymond Bishop. Here you go. to action now we're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight you get the sense this one may not go the distance good body shot the right hand came home and he ties up on the inside great hook to the head that time He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Raymond Bishop. Overhand right can be so effective. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Good shot to the head with that right hand. And now they're trading blows. Raymond Bishop's giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this, to counter this. And that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. That uppercut got him battling. Hayes' defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Raymond Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good job fighting from the outside. What an excellent two-punch combo by Raymond Bishop. And that's the end of round five. Raymond Bishop's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his piece of cues. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> remember, remember the guy wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Good defense, just covering up down low. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. On, on. There he goes with the right hand again. Hayes got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scores. Halfway through round six. Hayes is banged around by a big uppercut. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Targeting upstairs. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Oh, you see him with the
the left of the head there. Raymond Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Nice solid left hand scored by Raymond Bishop. Nice strike after catching one by Hayes. That'll get the fans out of their seats. What a shot by Raymond Bishop. Raymond Bishop's trainer, who you can see working with him right now in between rounds, said, hey, you've never seen anything like the way he works a double end bag. It's proven true. Yeah, it has. You know, part of why he's so accurate is he's calm, but part of it is he works on it like you just said. He gets on that crazy bag, that double end bag, and he makes sure that those punches are right on the mark. I just like that glimmer in his eye right now. You can tell he's engaged. He's ready to go after it. Not an accurate look at all. Hayes is leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched to the mouth. That's going to happen. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. He is not in good shape. He could be... Oh, that's got to hurt. Early on here in the round, and he's already down. And he doesn't look good at all. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Zones in on that overhand right. At the halfway point of round seven. Very accurate with the overhand right. the trigger fast he returns the favor with an uppercut that's a nice combination left hook to the body right hand Raymond Bishop's doing a good job of putting his punches together his opponent's got to be wondering how do I stop this well right now hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much you know he's just busy blocking the punches wondering about the combinations he's not getting off Hayes is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there that punch was nowhere near his opponent scorecard shows Raymond Bishop's up no doubt about that the past few rounds we've seen he has just extended his lead he has gained all momentum in this fight yeah he's very confident he's got everything working obviously he's in great shape and he's following his game plan he just missed that shot up top Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Solid. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? and stay away from this guy. That was a fine block by Raymond Bishop. Raymond Bishop's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor. Big shot. Hayes is down, and he may be out. So 
that's it. Unable to rise up and beat the count. A knockout victory. Walked right into that one. Let's make it official. And for that, we send it up to our ring announcer. scorecard throughout the evening. Raymond Bishop's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.